We start with a point. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Rob Bryanton here and uh, this time we're going to be taking two text blogs and combining them into one video blog. Uh, the two entries are called Mandelbulbs and How to Time Travel. Now the video we're looking at behind me here, uh, we have looked at before, it's called A Mandel Brought the Size of the Known Universe. And according to the description at YouTube for this three and a half minute long movie, if the final frame were the size of your screen, the full set would be larger than the known universe. And I'll put up a link so that you can uh, go to that uh, and watch that movie by yourself here. We've talked a number of times in blog entries like How to Make a Universe, Dreaming of Electric Sheep, The Invariant Set, The Seam Haramine, and a 3D sphere on a 4D hypersphere about how the concept of infinite recursion keeps coming up again and again, both in discussions of consciousness and in discussions of the underlying structures of our universe. The Mandelbrot set is a famous example of a fractal set which can be endlessly zoomed in on, continually revealing more and more detail. Now let's take a look at something that runs with the idea of the Mandelbrot set. This computer-generated image is part of a stunning new exploration of the Mandelbrot set where the underlying equations have been transformed to generate 3D objects. And I'll put up the link here for you to be able to go to see them all. They really are amazing to look at. There's lots more jaw-dropping examples of this exciting new process, which really, I think, helps us to see how fractal recursion is such an important part of the natural structures of our world and of the universe. Now, while we're looking at these great images, I want to look at uh, the next blog entry. It was called, How to Time Travel. Now, there's a great video from National Geographic showing serious scientific discussions of how we might someday be able to travel through time the same way that we travel through space. The physicist featured prominently in this video is Dr. Sean Carroll, who I've talked about a number of times in this blog in entries such as Wormholes, What Would a Flatlander Really See, Time in Either Direction, Scrambled Eggs, and The Big Bang as an Illusion. I've been a big fan of Dr. Carroll's work ever since I came across an article he wrote for Scientific American last year called The Cosmic Origins of Time Zero. And there are two quotes I've pulled from that article before. First one, our universe may be part of a much larger multiverse which as a whole is time symmetric. Time may run backward in other universes. And the other quote, the universe began empty and will end up empty. The appearance of stars and galaxies is a temporary deviation from its usual equilibrium condition. Persons familiar with imagining the 10th dimension will instantly recognize how excited I am to see mainstream physicists finally starting to say the same things I've been saying with my project. And I'm also really pleased that Sean Carroll now has a book which has come out called From Eternity to Here, The Quest for the Ultimate Theory of Time. And uh, I'm gonna put up a link to his blog telling us a bit more about his book. Uh, his blog is at preposterousuniverse.com. And I also want to put up another link for you at edge.org, which you can click on uh, if you're in the description box uh, below this video. Now, the second page shows a 24-minute video of Sean Carroll discussing some of his ideas. The presentation is called, Why Does the Universe Look the Way It Does? And there's a full text transcription of the presentation there as well. Very useful for future reference back to these ideas. From Eternity to Here is now on sale. You can pick up a copy at your local bookstore or through online book sites. And the next entry, we're going to uh, get a little more metaphysical again. It's called Life is But a Dream. My name's Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey. <laughs>